Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're feeling safe and blessed because you are. So uh, please ignore the echo. I'm just in a different setting right now. Um, but welcome in, everyone. Please remember um, that for the channeled message reading, it is a collective reading. So it does not matter what your zodiac sign is. Absolutely anyone may resonate with this message. Uh, regardless of your zodiac sign, regardless of your uh, your gender. But I do ask that you use discernment to take what resonates and leave what does not, okay? And if you believe that the message isn't for you, that's okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. I have tons and tons of tarot card readings here on the channel, and they're all timeless, so it really doesn't matter when you view it. It may still resonate with you, okay? All right, so you have the Eight of Swords. Hmm, Eight of Swords. And on the back of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. Tell us more about this Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So the Eight of Swords talks about, you know, someone who's like stuck in their head, okay? They're in this mental prison. They're doing a whole lot of thinking and they just can't get out of their head. It may even represent someone who feels stuck, stuck on something that transpired, stuck on someone. The Seven of Wands represents having to stand your ground and defend yourself, okay? But when the Seven of Wands comes out, it says, yes, you may have to stand your ground and defend yourself, but, but remember, you have an advantage, okay? That's what the Seven of Wands is. That's why even if you look at the illustration, while this woman does look like she's being attacked, she's higher up. So they're having a hard time. You can't even see the people who are attacking her. All, all you can see is their stick or their wand, right? They can't even reach her. They have to use wands to reach her. So you do have an advantage here. Um, tell us more about this Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Hmm, King of Cups in the reverse. I feel like... Ooh, okay, let's see what's going on here. We have the Empress. Tell us more about this Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Tell us more. You have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like something is about to happen. On the back of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords represents the truth and clarity. It could even represent uh, starting something new, right? New beginnings here. I feel like... I feel like someone needs help. Someone here, something is, it's like it's fostering up inside of someone. Like something, death. Death is an ending, a major ending. You could talk about transformations and rebirth. So there, I do feel like this is a masculine energy. Even here on the back of the deck, you have the king of wands. Like someone here is very frustrated, but I just... It's like something is fustering up inside of them. They just can't take it anymore. They just can't stand it. Um, I feel like there are drastic changes occurring in someone's life and it's really getting to them because this is someone who doesn't like change. They like to stay right where they're at. They're comfortable. They like familiarity. So I feel like this person is going through a death. There are massive, massive changes taking place and rapidly too. It's almost like the Grim Reaper has entered, has entered in someone's life and is taking a lot from them and they just can't take it. It's almost like this person is about to throw a tantrum, throw a fit. Um, they're trying to stop it from, from, they're trying to stop these endings from occurring, but they don't have power. They don't have control over that. Um, this person is a king of cups in the reverse. So king of cups in the reverse is a emotional hot mess. Whether this is a female or a male, remember that the cards represents energies, okay? But the king of cups in the reverse is someone who's very emotionally unstable, insecure, um, hot and cold, uh, 
emotionally manipulative even. Um, and not the nicest either, okay? Typically in the upright, this would be someone who's very kind and, you know, strives to do right by people and is very compassionate. But I feel like whosoever this King of Cups in the reverse is, they're very emotionally unstable right now. I also feel like with this Knight of Pentacles here, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very hardworking, very, you know, patient and diligent. Clarify this. First of all, let's clarify the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? Let's clarify each of these cards. Okay, Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, you know who this person, the Knight of Cups represents someone who has like some sort of just kind, friendly gesture, right? That they want to extend. I always see this as like a Prince Charming, um, a heartthrob even. Um, this is just someone who's very kind, very sweet. Um, tell us more about this King of Cups uh, in the reverse. Six of Pentacles. I wonder if this is a matter of jealousy, because I do sense jealousy here. Six of Pentacles, that equal give and take, you know, reciprocity. Okay, clarify the King of Cups in the reverse. The Magician. Manifester, the magician is a manifester. There's a king of cups in the reverse who I do feel has been manifesting you. This person has, they're not disciplined when it comes to their feelings and emotions at all. Um, they get jealous easily. They can be very manipulative when they don't get their way. They will cause drama. But I feel like this is more so, whoever this King of Cups in the reverse is, they're very passive when they cause drama. So they may not yell, they may not scream, they may not even like confront you about it, but they will try to get you back in an, in an emotional way. So if you do something that they don't like, they'll try to hurt your feelings, right? Or get a reaction out of you. Um, very, very emotionally immature, whoever this individual is. They're going to get... They're going to go crazy because I do feel like there's a Knight of Cups here uh, who's interested in you. But the thing is, the King of Cups in the reverse has been manifesting you. But I don't, I kind of feel like you're turned off by this individual. Okay. Now, there's a Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups is, is, is genuine. It's a genuine person. Um, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is that that equal give and take, or it even represents uh, reciprocity, sharing. Um, oh, I feel like, you know what? The Knight of Cups is you. You are the heartthrob. The Knight of Cups, you're the one, excuse me, you're the one that this King of Cups wants, but... I feel like you're giving yourself to someone else. You're giving your time, love, and attention to someone else. And it's making this person go crazy. It's making them very jealous and emotionally unbalanced. Because as much as they're manifesting you, it's not working. You're making this, yeah, you are their heart. It's like in this case, you are a heartthrob, right? Um, you're making this individual go go really crazy. You're, you're carrying the Seven of Swords energy because I feel like you are taking back what you gave them and you're giving it to someone else. The Seven of Swords, it is someone who isn't being transparent, withholding information, or just doing something sneaky and not wanting to get caught or seen. I feel like you're sneaking away from, from this person because you don't want them to know what you're doing or you don't want them to follow you. Maybe you just kind of, Seven of Swords, it could also represent someone who's really trying to leave it all in the past. Um, but you're doing this in silence. The sun. But something has been brought to light about you because the sun, yes, it represents healing, enlightenment, you know, illumination, but the sun could even, like something's been brought to light. Something has been brought to light that you're looking at 
looking at other options with the seven of cups you're weighing your options you're looking at the other other people that's why this person's very jealous um clarify the sun yeah something's been illuminated that you're like talking to other people i don't know how this king of cups in the reverse knows but king of cups in the reverse this could even be I know the Queen of Cups in the reverse is like a jealous person and very clingy. I kind of feel like this individual here, I wonder if they keep tabs on you. Because it, it was brought to light, you know, Seven of Swords is a cheater. It could represent someone who's like cheating to win or just doing something in the dark and they don't want it to be known. What has been revealed is that you're you're looking at your other options and You've taken back your love from this person and you want to give it to someone who perhaps is more deserving, right? And I feel like that's what's happening this season. A lot of people are like taking back what they get what they gave to the undeserving and they're and they're sharing it with the with the deserving. Um, but yeah, it was brought to light, and this King of Cups in the reverse is like he feels betrayed, backstabbed, he or she, but the Ten of Swords is a betrayal. Um, yeah, Ace of Swords, the truth and clarity. Like, this is being brought to light. What is this? Oh, wow. Okay, clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Let me see. The Emperor energy has come out. Let's clarify the Emperor. The Emperor is someone who's older, wiser, more mature. Oh, you're about to meet an emperor. Have you already? Oh, you're about to meet your emperor. The emperor is a big deal. The emperor is, this is not a king. This is an emperor, the most powerful man in the deck. And look, justice. I feel like this is your rightful partner, especially with the justice card here. Like you deserve them and they deserve you. The both of you work very hard to be, to meet each other. Um, this is like your official person. Like this is like the one, the way this person is coming out as the justice, this person is your justice. This is your official partner. Cause you know, we will meet several soulmates in our lives and there are many types of soulmates, but when, when it comes to like, who is the one for you, you know, it's this emperor who's showing up as the justice. The emperor is the most powerful masculine energy in the deck. Like... This is someone who is wise, very mature, extremely responsible. The emperor takes care of other people. Um, the emperor is also someone who's typically in a position of power and authority. This is an alpha. This is someone who is very assertive and really knows how to take control, take charge. You're going to be like head over heels in love with this person. You're here as a queen of cups but the emperor is also going to be head over heels in love with you because the queen of cups could easily represent a woman who a man is in love with this emperor is going to claim you immediately like even before telling you that he wants to be with you he's i feel like this emperor has already claimed you before even meeting you like with the justice card here this is like this is the one you know he's coming in with with the justice like this is a powerful person um wow you're gonna capture this man's heart and you're gonna be very open to sharing yourself with him let's know more about this emperor Five of Swords. Page of Pentacles. This, this person's coming in so soon. I keep on seeing seven. I saw seven when I looked at the Ace of Swords. I just didn't say it. And then I see seven again when I saw the Page of Pentacles. So maybe in seven months, seven weeks, seven days. It's been some time since it's 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 taken a while for you to meet this emperor because he's coming in as a knight of pentacles and knight of pentacles commits this is someone who finishes they finish what they start but the knight of pentacles is it is a slower energy so maybe you know the two of you kind of really had to work on yourselves before meeting each other or maybe you had to work on your i feel like it's a mutual thing because that justice card 
I feel like the divine was really preparing the two of you for each other. So it, it takes time when a, when a, when a blessing is this big, the preparation is big, you know, big blessings take time for you to receive them so that when you receive it, you'll take complete advantage of it, right? You won't sabotage it. And wow. This is someone who you'll be able to go to when you need when you need anything, like when you need help, when you need advice, wisdom. Emperor is like a father figure. Five of Swords and a page. So the thing you want to know about the Emperor, he carries a Five of Swords energy. I feel like once this man or woman, once this Emperor steps into your life, I kind of feel like things are going to feel a lot easier. Things are going to go very smoothly for you. The Five of Swords, it could represent like defeat, surrender, walking away. Um, this person's going to come into your life like they carry this energy of a giant, like their presence alone. If you have anyone who's like giving you a hard time, once this person comes in, people will know not to mess with you. Um, clarify this five of swords energy. Yeah. Judgment. I wonder who this person is. And then everything is fine. There's something about this emperor's energy where when he's around, he is the protector. He is the alpha and people will have no choice but to respect you. Um, he will make the people in your life who have been giving you a hard time, he will make them feel very defeated because they're all going to be like, oh, her emperor's here. Let's leave her alone. You know, like, I don't know what you've been dealing with, but with the emperor on your side, you would feel like everything is all right. Look, judgment. The judgment card also represents a final decision. If you're someone who's dealing with, with like a king of cups in the reverse who won't leave you alone, who's obsessing over you, once this emperor comes in, he will know, oh, that's an emperor. Let me leave that, let, you know, let me leave this queen of cups alone. Yeah. When the emperor is around, there's no choice but to respect him, right? And literally on the back of the deck, everything is fine. This man will handle a lot for you. Clarify the page of pentacles. Page of Cups, oh my gosh. Page of Pentacles, this is like a proposal. This is a commitment. Pentacles are all about, it can represent like a, like a financial offer, a rewarding offer, right? Something, something of like earthly matters. But the Page of Pentacles, pages are all about communication, messages, right? The relaying of information. And there's another, even after we clarified it, another page came out, a page of cups. So it's something about this, this emperor here. When he speaks to you, you'll know that this is someone who, who, who is sincere, who means what they say. If this person asks you out on a date, it's because they have the intent to make you their empress, like their woman, their person. You know, there's not someone who's going to waste your time. Um, this is someone who definitely commits and they're looking for a commitment. Um, you guys are about to meet. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Six of Cups. This is someone who will also... So the Six of Cups is all about a return, right? It doesn't always have to talk about the past returning. It could talk about sort of like the Six of Pentacles, that equal give and take, right? Reciprocity. Same thing with the Six of Cups. As a tarot reader, I'm I'm beginning to see the Six of Cups as more than just the past returning, but returning anything, like returning the love, you know? Whatever you invest in this person, they'll invest in you. I mean, sort of seeing this as like a, like a Six of Pentacles, but not something that's tangible, right? Six of Pentacles, it's that, re it's like equal give and take, but maybe of something tangible, materialistic, because it's a pentacle. The cups for me represents feelings and emotions. So they will requite the love. They will reciprocate reciprocate that those feelings and emotions. This is someone where you know, like when you invest in them, you know that something will come out of it. They're, they're coming towards you as a pentacle, a page of pentacles. This is someone who's really going to like ask you on a date and not just any date. They will really sit there and plan the date, the date with you. 
this person will be very considerate towards you. They're here as a page of pentacles. It, this will come with a commitment. Their love offer will come with a commitment, but not just a commitment. They're here as a page of cups. It's going to be emotionally fulfilling. This person is going to give you something very valuable, right? Something very valuable. Maybe even something... I feel like this is the kind of person who... They may buy you really nice things, but they will not neglect your emotional fulfillment either because they're both a page of pentacles and a page of cups. So they're going to, you know, take care of your like earthly desires, but they're also going to fulfill your emotional needs. It's the perfect combination. Um, wow. This is an emperor. This is not like, oh, king of cups versus king of pentacles. No, this is an emperor. All four kings put together. Um, let's clarify the empress. Clarify the empress. This is this person who's coming in. And I feel like you've been waiting for this. The three of wands, I just heard anticipation. Because the three of cups is someone who's waiting for an opportunity or waiting for their ships to sail in, waiting for something to arise. Like the Empress is, first of all, the most beautiful woman in the deck, um, the most powerful feminine energy, actually. And the Empress is like a, a mother, okay, a wife. She is, is very abundant, very wise, very fertile. She gives birth and not just to like, children but the empress has the blessing of fertility so she can produce and successfully manifest the life that she wants for herself um but this is someone who's well balanced very stable very secure so much to the point where she doesn't just take care of herself she also looks after other people too just a very nurturing person um and i clarify the empress i feel like you've made a decision that you want your emperor. I don't feel like you're looking for a king. You're not looking for a knight. You're looking for your emperor because you're an empress. Um, you want that commitment. The four of wands represents commitment and marriage. It's like, remember how I said this king of cups in the reverse is jealous because it's been revealed that you're, I don't, I wonder if this person's like digging behind you. I wouldn't worry about them. Um, I don't feel like this King of Cups in the reverse is confrontational either. He's the type to just sit there, have a pity party, get upset, maybe try to cause a reaction out of you, but at a distance, you know? Um, but remember when we clarified the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Cups came out? You have options. You're looking for new love. You have, you have options even when it comes to new love, but I feel like you, you get that. You know you have options, and so you're selecting the option to be with an emperor. You're, you're, you could be with a knight. You could be with a king. You could, you could have a fling. You could just be dating around. The choice is yours, but I feel like you're, you've made a decision that you want a commitment. You've made a decision that you want a commitment, something that would lead to marriage. Really, the choice is yours, and I feel like you've made that choice, so the emperor's coming in fast. Yeah, you've made that choice. Were you laying in bed thinking, oh my gosh, yeah. So many of you guys, as you're starting this new beginning, you have options. You're not restricted. You're not bound to just one thing. The choice is yours. What do you want, right? Do you want to just date around? Do you just kind of want to be casual? Or do you want a commitment, right? Do you want to be a wife? Do you want to be a husband, a father, a mother? The choice is yours, whichever direction you want this to go. And it's amazing because you have freedom. There's really no right or wrong way. I feel like, you know, many of you did, did really did the work on yourself. So in this new chapter, you really have choices. You have options, which is really good. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? There's no right or wrong way. The choice is yours. What 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 is fulfilling for you? The fact that you're sitting in this empress energy, it says that you're ready to settle down. The empress is a mature woman, and you're 
your emperor's coming in. I feel like you've been thinking about this too with the four of swords because the four of swords is heavy contemplation. Um, is her emperor coming in? Is this emperor coming in soon? I know time is fluid. Everything is fine. I feel like the cards are saying, don't worry about it. <laughs> Is her emperor coming in soon? <laughs> he is, nine of pentacles is here. Everything is fine. I kind of feel like the cards are saying, don't worry about when they're coming in, just continue to, uh, you know, establish yourself. The nine of pentacles is someone who's very well established, very successful. Um, if you're at nine out of 10 pentacles, you have, you have accomplished many goals. Um, so just keep on working on yourself and in divine timing, this emperor will come in, but let's see, let's clarify this queen of pentacles here, clarify the queen of pentacles. <laughs> yeah, you're looking for commitment. Queen of pentacles is someone who's very loyal and typically in a commitment and the knight of swords is someone who's trying to seize an opportunity. Yeah, look. The Hierophant marriage. I feel like that's what you you want. So your emperor, because you've made that choice, your emperor is now coming in. Um, let's clarify this Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles talks about uh, seeing the fruits of your labor, right? Reaping what you sow. Um, hmm, yeah. This came out when we were talking about this King of Cups. This King of Cups, I feel, I just randomly stopped shuffling because on the back of the deck, you have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is very, you know, it's like a player, flirtatious, very passionate and determined to get what they want. With this death, these major endings that are happening in this King of Cups life, it is because of their actions. It's, it's the consequences of their actions. They are... It's like you reap what you sow. Uh, I feel like they didn't. I, I feel like they didn't. They didn't sow good seeds, and this is the outcome of it. Okay, it's like you know the repercussions, the consequences of their actions. That is why they're experiencing this death here. Three of Pentacles is a collaboration. So maybe they collaborated with someone. You know, maybe they collaborated with people who were not the best. But there are major endings that are happening in this person's life. Um, hmm. Yeah, look, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is a life of despair. You know, a life of challenges and difficulties, feeling abandoned, feeling left out in the cold, a decrease in 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 money. Like it could maybe this person has taken a big financial loss because of all these pentacles here. Um, I feel like if they try to do some sort of work collaboration, they didn't, it didn't go well or they did it with the wrong people. Um, but this person is in despair. Whoever this King of Cups in the reverse is, um, let's get more messages about this King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, they are king of pentacles. So this is someone who is very materialistic. You know, this is someone who they prioritize their success. I mean, don't we all? Um, but they prioritize superficial and materialistic things a little bit too much. And I just feel like it didn't turn out well for them, okay? Um, the high priestess is here. High Priestess is someone who's very intuitive, spiritual, all-knowing. Eight of Wands. Hmm. You may have even seen this coming. Maybe you tried to warn this person, but they didn't listen. Clarify the Eight of Wands, because the Eight of Wands is a big communication card. This person is in financial devastation. 
is what I just heard, financial de devastation. They're gonna try to reach out to you, but just know that this person's like money hungry. Um, the, the message is to, four of cups is rejection, right? Unfulfillment. Why do I feel like you could have tried to warn this person or advise them not to go a particular route, but they didn't take your guidance. They didn't take your insight. They rejected it. Yeah, king of swords. They were acting like a know-it-all. Yeah, seven of cups. They felt like they knew better. They were in their head. Maybe they were weighing their other options. They didn't listen to you. They didn't value what you had to say. Wow. And now look at what's happening to them. Queen of Swords. But the thing is, I wish they would have listened to you because just as much as they, they see themselves as a King of Swords, King of Swords is very intelligent and analytical. So this person was being stuck up like they are a know-it-all. But you're also a Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is clever, sharp, witty, and discerning. The two of you could have made really great partners, whether in business or, or romantically or just in a casual way. Um, but for some reason, I feel like they were undermining you, even though the both of you are very intelligent and logical thinkers. Mm. Three of Wands. This person was looking elsewhere. They had completely turned their back on you and they were carrying out their plan their way. Like they excluded you from it. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? Like. You tried to help, they didn't listen, and so be it, right? I try this. Um, so, what needs to be known? Like, what's the advice, Holy Spirit, about this King of Cups? Yeah, they're in Five of Cups is regrets, crying over spilled milk. They know they messed up. They messed up big time because you're the Nine of Pentacles. You're very successful and well accomplished. If there were any, if there was anyone who they were supposed to be listening to and collaborating with, it's you. And I feel like now they see it. But whatever, next. So tell us more about this Empress and the Emperor. What is there, what is this gonna be like? Ooh, look at this, y'all. Six of Wands, victory, winning, accomplishments. Wow. It's gonna be victorious. Can we get insight on when this may happen? It doesn't have to, have to be the specific time. Knights of Wands. Hmm. Clarify this Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is someone who is on a passionate pursuit. Clarify the Knight of Wands. The lovers, a choice. Clarify the Knight of Wands. See how the cards are coming out. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Mm. Ace of Pentacles. When it comes to when, when the two of you are going to meet. Because the lovers is a choice. I feel like really any time now. Because... The both of you are on this passionate pursuit to commit. I feel like that's what the, the both of you want, especially with this Ace of Pentacles. The both of you, because the both of you now want the same thing, the both of you are being brought together. Um, yeah, in order for the both of you to be brought together, the both of you have to want the same thing, okay? And you're both sitting in this Empress and Emperor energy, very mature people who are ready for a commitment. The lover is a choice. Hmm. Wow. Look at this. Ten of Cups. This Emperor is ready to settle down. Empress, you're ready for a commitment. 
that commitment marriage, Emperor is ready to settle down as well. The Emperor, I heard the Ten of Cups is representing what the Emperor wants, okay? What the Emperor wants is like, I'm ready to settle down. I'm ready for my, my happily ever after. Ten of Cups is that happily ever after, fairy tale ending, and family. This person probably wants family. I mean, they are in this King of Wands energy. Just saying. <laughs> King of Wands is very King of Wands is very handsome, but sexy. He has a strong sexual side. Um, I don't feel like much time will be wasted when it comes to having children. <laughs> Temperance. Temperance. Hmm. Temperance is it's peace, it's harmony, it's it's contentment, it's alignment. I feel like the both of you want this with the justice card here. This is I kind of feel like I kind of feel like the universe has been watching the both of you live your separate your separate lives, your individual lives. And now that the two of you want the same thing, the both of you can come together. That's why at the end of the day, it's by choice. The lovers is a choice. The both of you have chosen each other based on what the two of you desire. Wow. Get ready. All right. Get ready to meet this person. So I'm going to end the reading here, you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope this message helps. I uh, hope it gives you some, some great insight, clarity, and confirmation. But of course, I do ask after receiving this message, please go into prayer and meditation to receive guidance from the Most High. So thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And if you're interested in connecting with me more, please check out the description box. All my information will be there. Thank you all. Take care. Many blessings.